And we are live from Starknet CC in Paris with Moti La Vie, which means like the life in French, by the way. Really? Oh. Yeah, La Vie means the oh, life. Yeah. It's interesting. Yeah, in, in Hebrew, it's like a, it's like a lion. Lion? Yeah. Oh, Levi. Okay, okay, okay. Interesting, interesting. It's like uh, the newborn lion. <laughs> the newborn lion. Yeah. So who are you, man? Uh, well, the newborn lion. <laughs> <laughs> So, Monty Levy, you're the co-founder of uh, Paros, which is an interface wallet um, that is compatible with Starknet. Mm -hmm. um, could you give us at the high level um, presentation of what you guys are building and how your solution stands out from the others that are already existing? Excellent question. So, uh, we build a smart contract based wallet, uh, which actually uh, differs from the you know, gazillion wallets that crypto has out there and the fact that uh, all the wallets that are out there are like 99.9% .9 of them are a client side only wallet and a smart contract based wallet, like its name, it has a smart contract on chain that represents your, your account. And the, uh, this is a very powerful concept because it allows you to implement any logic that you want on chain in order to control and manage your account. And maybe I will give a few examples uh, uh, further down the road. And so that's what Bravos is doing. Our mission at Bravos is to really take uh, the crypto UX and order of magnitude steps forward. Uh, I strongly believe that uh, the current situation in crypto is that we don't have uh, a good enough UX for central for decentralized and self-custodial solutions. And that's why the vast majority of uh, people in crypto today are using centralized solutions and custodial solutions. So they use the crypto rails, but not really the crypto uh, mindset and the crypto spirits and the crypto values. And uh, we, and, and, you know, and you can blame them. You can blame them because the, uh, the user experience and the ease of use and the fact that uh, they get what they are used to from Web2 and TreadFi on centralized crypto solutions, it's, uh, it's simply much, much better than uh, what the decentralized and self-custodial world offer them. And this is what we want to change in Bravos. And the fact that we have a smart contract on chain opens a wide range of possibilities in order uh, to do that. So. Uh, we, uh, you, you are going to see that in the next uh, few weeks and months, and we are going to put a lot of emphasis around the user experience. And when I say user experience, I don't mean UI and the nice colors, although it will have nice colors for sure, but, uh, but actually how users can interact with, uh, with the blockchain, how users can interact with crypto and uh, uh, their assets in, in general. Yeah, there's a lot of, there are a lot of things that you can leverage from account abstraction, like multi call that increase the, the UX definitely. And there are some concepts that are also in, in introduced that you can find on the Bravos website, like human readable transaction history or segmentation of accounts. Uh, could you tell us more about these, uh, these features, uh, recovery methods that we can expect from such a solution? Yeah. So basically it all comes down to, to UX and, uh, removing the high burden that users currently have on their shoulders when they need to interact with, uh, with crypto and with their wallet. So a uh, transaction explainer is one classical idea. And we want to make sure that users understand what they're signing on, what, what the transaction that uh, certain devs uh, ask them to approve and not having a, a random uh, numbers of uh, in, in number of characters of numbers and uh, and words that most people uh, cannot make any sense of. So uh, the transaction explainer is a human readable uh, in plain English. What the app asks you to do, and you can decide whether you want to sign it or you want to uh, decline signing that. So so that's one thing. Account segmentation is another very cool thing that's uh, that's really embedded in in TreadFi. Uh, and people are used to, uh, and we don't have that in crypto because uh, it's not possible to do in in client side only wallets. And I will give I will give an example of uh, what I mean by account segmentation. Account segmentation actually means that I can have my checking accounts, let's call it my day to day accounts, and I can have my saving accounts, and I can define. Uh, different withdrawal limits and uh, uh, different time delays on this uh, these specific accounts, 
uh, when I'm interacting with them. And think about it like uh, like ATM ATM card. When I go to the ATM card, I cannot uh, withdraw all the money that I have in my bank. I have a limit. I have a limit per per day, and I have a, a, an overall limit. Uh, and that's actually a good characteristic uh, for for. Uh, for most users, because you don't want uh, that if your account uh, is stolen or lost, you don't want someone to drain your account. Uh, and account abstraction and having a smart contract on chain really enables us to support such a such a mechanism of uh, account segmentation seamlessly. Other stuff is like multi-factor authentication. We want to make sure that uh, people are not wrecked by the fact that they did one small mistakes in a character or a number or uh, they tapped too soon uh, and uh, and you know they, they lost their assets or the fund their funds the f again the fact of a programmable contract on chain which is your account that really enables us to do that and, I'm, and i guess that's also why you choose to build on on starknet beyond account abstraction and what it implies from a ux uh, standpoint there are also a lot of exciting features you, you can foresee for a wallet when building on a potential L, L3 with privacy and everything properties or stuff like that. So I guess there is a whole scope ground of things to play with when choosing to build on, on, a, on a ZK system. And maybe there are some other arguments that explain why you choose Starknet. Yeah, so so uh, I, I think that's, uh, that's, a, that's a very good question. And maybe I can tell a bit of how, how we decided to come and build on Starknet, regardless of the fact that a smart contract-based wallet and account abstraction is uh, like a first-class citizen, this is the native way to work on Starknet. Um, you know, I, I'm a late comer to crypto, uh, so uh, but I had the luxury when I came into crypto like a year and a half ago to take a few good months and really learn and dive deep into the ecosystem, understand the different L1s. And the benefit and the disadvantages, and then I decided that Ethereum uh, has the most uh, reasonable trade-off and has the vast network uh, adoption, and probably have a very good chance to to be the long-term L1 solution. But Ethereum, is, as we all know, has has a scaling problem. So uh, in the blockchain trilemma between uh, security, decentralization, and scaling, Ethereum took uh, security and decentralization. But they have a solution for scaling, which is uh, L2s, which is great. And now we have the different L2s and uh, we have the optimistic rollups and we have what is called ZK rollups or validity, validity rollups, exactly, which is a much more accurate name. <laughs> so I've studied both of these uh, solutions and it came to the conclusion that in the long run, by far, uh, validity rollups has a superior technology with uh, uh, with no trust assumption, no trust assumption, non restrictive kind of uh, no limitation on withdrawal limits and and so forth. And you know, you you eventually you trust in in the math and you don't trust in some sort of economic incentives or like game theory that might break on you know on edge cases which. One can claim they are the only interesting cases, right? So that's why validity rollups. Now, wh why Starknet? Because because um, Starknet by Starkware had uh, already StarkX deployed uh, and uh, secure uh, hundreds of thousands, I think by now millions of many millions of uh, transactions. So it's a, a fully battle tested proof system. So it wasn't a gamble whether the technology is working or, or not working. And Stark themselves are uh, technology technologically superior than Snark that probably the other rollups are using. So it it was quite clear that uh, from technology point of view, it is uh, uh, Starknet has the best technology. Now we did had like our concern in terms of uh, building with Cairo and writing in, in Cairo, which is a new language, is completely different than Solidity, the, the language that is used across the, the crypto ecosystem. But, uh, you know, I've just been on stage and uh, I said that uh, Cairo, the programming language, is uh, it's an acquired taste. So it's like beer. Uh, maybe the first uh, few beers are, uh, you know, feel a bit bitter, but uh, after that, you really like it. So for all new developers out there, uh, try out Cairo. Oh, good. That's, a, that's an interesting message. And speaking of uh, the developers out there, are, are there any open positions on Bravos? Of course. 
we are currently a very small team, but managed to accomplish, uh, I think, uh, quite a lot in a very short period of time. So uh, we have our browser extension uh, on all, almost all browsers. So it's uh, Chrome and Firefox and Brave and even Edge. For those of you who use uh, who use that, we have uh, built many new features that we've brought on uh, to Starknet that uh, weren't before us. We had uh, NFTs within the wallet, and uh, not only pictures but also 3D NFTs and audio NFTs and video NFTs. Uh, we had the transaction explainer, a human readable transaction, as you mentioned, and we also. Uh, created various uh, um, protections to the user when they transfer money to make sure they transfer to um, uh, existing accounts. And just this week, we have launched uh, uh, our mobile wallet, so Bravos Mobile, which, of course, it's the first and only mobile wallet on, on Starknet. And we are really exciting, excited about that because if we talk about uh, mass market and mass adoption, I truly believe that it will come from uh, uh, mobile users and not, uh, uh, and not only from uh, people who know what extension is and can uh, install extension in the browser. Okay. And, um, also I meant by open position, are you recruiting? Uh, yes, of course. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. So we, we are a small team, very strong team, managed to accomplish all that in just a very few short months. So we are definitely recruiting and looking for strong people. Uh, so if you have, uh, crypto experience, a blockchain experience, or even if you are a very strong, uh, let's call it Web2 or embedded engineer, uh, we will be happy to uh, to have you on board. Uh, if you like to work with, uh, with, with strong people that uh, make a big impact in a short period of time, then please reach out. There is a, a job a jobs link in our uh, website, in our landing page website, or you can simply email to jobs at uh, bravos.app. Find us on Twitter, on um, on Discord, on Telegram. Uh, I, I think we are everywhere. And as usual, I, I dropped the links in the description under like the, the, the content that we publish on YouTube, and you have the comment section to address, to send any question to the Bravos team. You can use these relevant links to make up your mind, reach out to Bravos, and uh, that's usually the way it works. Thank you so much, Muti, for being among us, and uh, I'll see you around. Thank you. Thank you for this interview. Pleasure.